All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakal Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of that great millstone, and shalom to the elect. I wanted to bring out some precepts that reflect and stipulate how men are not supposed to be um, acting and conducting themselves as women, man. All right, you have that as a um, an epidemic in society now, in modern day society, in this perverse, wicked generation. You have um, men and women acting um, acting like the opposite sex, man. Straight up. All right, you have a role reversal, gender reversal of of just complete wickedness going on in um, society spearheaded by America. All right, they influence it and and push it in all forms of media and propaganda to um, to fucking to influence the masses to be um, to be deviant, man, to be completely wicked. And you have now, when you go out in, into the world, out into the, the marketplaces and the, the different eating establishments and places that we have to frequent here in Babylon and in our respective uh, societies that we're in across the globe, you see men conducting themselves and um, completely uh, uh, effeminate, all right? Now, this whole, this whole little, little, um, little video was prompted by um, a man that, that had goddamn long, inch and a half, two inch acrylic bejeweled nails, man, at the establishment that I went into, the goddamn the shop clinic, which made me <laughs> start to to question if I should even be fucking with the shit, with the, with the edibles and shit, but at the shop clinic, uh, a, a, a young 19-year-old nigga, all right, with um, regular men's attire, standard men's attire, but... Um, Goddamn two inch acrylic bejeweled uh, um, pink and turquoise fingernails, man. All right. And you have that creeping across the, the um, these, these um, men communities of men. You have that going on right now, man. All right. Niggas, men wearing fucking painted nails. All right, men with long hair, with man buns, all right, with women's attire, completely fucking effeminate. We're going to break down the meaning of, the, of these words to show you that it's ex pinpoint exactly how these, um, how these people are conducting themselves out in this world today, man, in this wicked, disgusting, perverse society. All right. It says, um, and it's pure confusion, which um, serves to the to the meaning of the word of the title of this godforsaken corporation, man. Babylon confusion, pure fucking confusion, man. All right. First Corinthians six and nine says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit." The kingdom of the Most High. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers themselves with mankind, nor thieves, covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of the Most High. All right? So the effeminate, um, specifically, Regarding the effeminate, the effeminate shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. 
all right? It's not okay to be effeminate. It's not okay to so-called be in touch with your feminine side. There's no such thing as that, but that's one of the phrases that they attach to the society of men have to be more sensitive and sissified. But this, literally, the scriptures tell you that that's... Um, that that will prevent you from salvation, all right? Meaning that it's wrong, meaning that it's iniquity. It's actually coupled with um, all these other wicked um, acts, all right? It's it's actually um, associated with all these wicked fucking acts, man. See? Um, it says, and such were some of you but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh Shai, our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the spirit of our power. Okay? So let's get this word effeminate. When you look in that word effeminate in the blue letter, it goes into soft, to be soft to the touch. All right? Of a woman, likened into a woman. All right? And when you go in here to the um, to the origin, ex femina, which is effeminate, ex femina, to make a woman out of. That's literally what it means to make a woman out of, to make feminine, man. All right. That's completely fucking perverse, wicked, wicked and backwards, man. And we're going to get that, too, though. It says, effeminate from the late 14th century, to be womanish, to be voluptuous, to be tender. All right? Womanish, effeminate, to make a woman of, out of. Okay? Femina, a woman, a female. Literally, she who suckles, to suck. All right? And then it, it, um, it branches off to tell you, Right here, let me get it. Effeminate of a man having or showing characteristics regarding regarded as typical of a woman to be unmanly. All right. You see? This is completely wicked. The most high uh, um made characteristics and created man, man with certain characteristics and woman with certain characteristics all right and you in society this wicked satanic culture is actually um causing the men and promoting the men to go against their nature of a man to adopt the qualities of being a fucking woman man and it's completely fucking wicked and backwards. All right? And it's not okay. These 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 little fags, man. These uh these men out here, these young boys and shit um cross dressing and uh uh wearing wearing shit that these bitches wear, man, and acting like a goddamn nigga woman. It's not okay. It's wicked as fuck and the most high is going to destroy it, man. This shit spreading like a goddamn cancer across society all right those men is are worthless though these men out here that uh, um conduct themselves in such a way are fucking worthless man they and they should be destroyed they're made to be taken and fucking and burned all right that's why the these the multitudes out here are gonna perish because they their their existence is vanity man all right, and it's it's um, it's actually it, implication. It's it's a uh, it's actually very dangerous to the community. It's really dangerous to society to allow the, these creatures, these monsters, to go on living, man, because they further uh, um, infect and uh, um, and and spread like a cancer into the the rest of of the minds of, of our nation, man. 
see? And they shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. It says in Philippians 2 and 15, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High. And Salakia, let me get into this real quick. When you go into that word effeminate, it also goes into, in the blue letter, academite, which is a, a, a fag. It's a goddamn a homosexual man. Homosexual man. Um, typically in, in uh, ancient Greek and Roman cultures was a, um, a young boy, man. Um, was like an, a, a young boy who was groomed to be um, a, a fuck object, a homosexual uh, uh, fuck toy for, for, um, for, for grown men, man. All right? And when you conduct yourself in an effeminate way, whether you, because see, a lot of these niggas claim straight. All right, a lot of them claim straight, but they but they act like a woman, with fucking lipstick, acrylic nails, and goddamn uh 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 skinny jeans. Okay, and a man bun, man. Oh, uh, and and it's telling you that you're likened into a a um a, a filthy a filthy homosexual, man. Straight up. And it's not okay, and this place needs to be destroyed. I just heard on the news on 1070 AM, catch a little bit of the, you know, the local news and, and weather and fucking uh, traffic reports. They they said that this fag couple was kicked out of uh, an attraction line, I believe, at Disneyland or one of these amusement parks. But there were other heterosexual couples that were that were macking in the line but but didn't get kicked out see the fags got kicked out because society deep down these people know that it's completely fucking wicked and perverse and deviant man it goes away from that which is normal which was perceived as normal which is what the most high set up in nature against the natural that's why the scripture says um leaving the natural use of a man and woman. And that's what you have here in this sick fucking twisted society. It's back in Philippians 2 and 15, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of the Most High, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. That's right. All right. I got this to show you that we are in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation and a, it, it exp, expounds in Matthew of a perverse fucking generation, man. A super perverse generation has um, come onto the scene, has surfaced here in, in uh, 2021, man, to going on 22, all right? And for the several last years, but right now it's getting worse and fucking worse in modern times, man, of, of the perverse, the perversion of society, all right, and we're going to get that, let's see it in the, um, the BL, perverse, it means to distort, or to turn aside, to oppose, plot against the saving purposes and plans of the most high, my God, so this nation and generation is perverse, it's literally, oppo it's, it's, um, adverse, which is, synonymous with opposite it is adverse and it opposes the salvation of the most high the plans and saving purposes purposes of salvation of the most high all right perversion is and that's what's promoted in this goddamn uh, wicked ass society it says to turn aside from the right path to pervert to corrupt that's literally the de the definition of of deviant to or to deviate that means to go off from the path from the right path and that's what this is that's what this generation is predicated by it's literally this generation is literally predicated by perversion and sexual uh, um immorality all right you have this whole culture now of the alphabet, the LGBTQRS, all right, the um, the the trans, uh, um, eighty gender, just uh, uh, um, pup play, 
wicked, sinful, disgusting fucking culture that has come on the scene, man, and that is this whole generation is predicated by, all right? Predicated by your sexual preference, whether you're a, a lesbian, a faggot, a, um, a shit stuffer, all right? Uh, a, a fudge packer, a goddamn um, a bisexual, a queer, all right? Um, a, a pedophile, a goddamn a necrophiliac, which is somebody who um, likes to, to fuck off on corpses. And that's, that's, that's on the scene, for sure. Um, you've got a uh, uh, goddamn uh, zoophiliac. A zoophiliac, coming from the word zoophilia, is the, um, the, the proper term for bestiality. One who, who, uh, who, who gains pleasure from uh sexual encounters with animals man so you had this whole society um this whole per, uh, uh um generation is predicated off of your sexual preference which is completely wicked and bugged out man something the most high created to be intimate and private between it and um strictly for the bedroom between a man and his woman and his partner um, is is now goddamn on on your name tag, all right. Now it's goddamn it's it's your title now instead of Mister and Mrs. It's, it's fag or lesbian, all right. It's linked with your with your identity, and that's why this place is fucking crooked and backwards. We're gonna get that. All right, it's distorted, man. It has turned away. It is deviated. It's deviant. Check, check it. It says perverse. It goes into um, man, fuck, fucking insane. Cause look, is not um the matters of the law, the legal matters of uh the Levitical law of the Israelites uh, uh, law statutes and commandments that's dealing with the law man and perverse um, it's it's heavy because to pervert the law it goes into to um, to uh, legally all right it goes into like a legal realm of what they're doing by breaking this law pervert to pervert to break the law to go off from the path of the law statutes and commandments man. all right Check it out for the sexual immorality. Sexually perverted. This is a perverse generation. Depraved. Perverted. Unnatural. Degenerate. Deviant. Immoral. Corrupt. Wicked. So perverse goes into, literally goes into wicked, man. All right. Check this. It says, um, a sicko. All right. Check it in the uh, in the Edamon. It says perverse. The direct translation. Check it. Wicked, wicked. All right. Unnatural. Degenerate. Perverse. Contrary. Turned away. Turned away from what is right. Wrong. Malicious. Spiteful. So this is a wicked, sinful, disgusting. Gener- uh, um society country generation all right and we are to remain uh um separate from it all right we are to remain separate from it man all right so that we are to be blameless and then because if we're to be blameless we'll then in turn be harmless because the wages of sin is death. You getting jacked up and harmed is a result of you of your transgression, your iniquity, man. All right. And we're to be reserved as lights in this world, to be completely separate. See, we're notable. So we're noticeable as fuck when we're out here, out here, not just by how we follow and are right in alignment with the Most High's. Um, laws as it pertains to attire and the way we we present ourselves but ultimately in 
um, the way we conduct ourselves, and in um, and because that goes back, to your conduct is um, is pretty much an evidence of of your belief, man. Your conduct is um, is an evidence of 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 straight up of of your belief, man. All right, and we stand out like a sore fucking thumb. See, it says, uh, and let me get this. I I, I wasn't able to get this. Uh, where does it say? Fuck. Uh, effeminate. Mm. Cause ultimately. Uh, what this see because your your conduct is evidence of your faith see and when you look at this word effeminate it it also goes back to femina which the word femina means to be without faith all right and that's what ultimately these men are despite the fact that they're all fagged out that they're effeminate that they're they're wicked that they're um they're unruly that they're completely just um, obnoxious, bugged out. It goes back to their 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 faith, which is, which um, has been coined by by um, by extremely wise um, man of Yahweh Bashim Shai that faith is going to be the most precious commodity on the planet, and is, but. Um, it's, but it's uh, it's sh- it's shat on, man, in this time. And ultimately, these motherfuckers um, are slated for destruction. All right. Wanted to get that. It says in another um, definition to be sissy. It's to be sissified. All right. Slack. Um, Adam. Uh, is it effeminate in the Edom? In the Edom? Because we were just there. Let's check that out. Uh, hmm. Bam. It says, sissified. Having unsuitable feminine qualities. So it's not just to be to have feminine qualities. It's to have unsuitable feminine qualities. All right. And ultimately, no feminine qualities are suited, suited for a man. All right. A bunch of goddamn sisties out here, which goes back to a sister. These men are as women. The a. Uh, <laughs> I got to get that, man. Um, the men are as women. Because they are, man. They're completely wicked. They got that fag, fag uh, um, accent, that fag scent when they speak, you know. They act as, act as the nigga woman, extremely mono- uh, obnoxious and outspoken. And this... Um, prophecy the scripture has uh, completely come to fruition in society um, um, mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight have foreborn to fight It says in Jeremiah 51 and 30, the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight. They have remained in their holes. Their might has failed. They became as women. They have burned her dwelling places. Her bars are broken. So the men of America, of, of, of Babylon, are become, have become as women, man. Completely effeminate sissies. Tender, soft to the touch. All right. And the Most High is setting it up for 
a grand, excellent destruction in this fucking place, man. All right, to where it's gonna collapse with ease. These men are gonna um, are gonna be uh, completely rendered u- useless in that day because they're 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 completely uh, effeminized, man. They're emasculated. All right, so it's gonna be an easy, quick takeover when the Most High exacts the judgment to where there's no turning back for this fucking place, man. This is in Jeremiah, uh, Salakia, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. The woman shall not ret- pert- wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do are an abomination unto Yahweh thy power. All right? So when you look at that word wear, that means to put on. All right? And these niggas are indeed, they're putting, they're putting on those nails, those acrylics. Couldn't fucking believe it. And then the, the nigga tried to give me knuckles, and I walked out the goddamn door, man. Knuckles with fucking two-inch acrylic cloths. See, a, a, a man shall not wear that. And, and he shall not put on a woman's garment, and he shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a woman, man. All right? You can wear a hairdo as well. Look at that. So a nigga with long hair, with these long goddamn dreads, all right, uh, um, with a man bun, all right, you're wearing that which pertaineth unto a woman. And the scriptures actually go into that specifically, that it's a shame unto a man if he has long hair, man. You're wearing that which pertaineth unto a woman, which is long hair, which is her glory. So this place is completely fucking backwards. Look at this. This perverse nation and generation that spoke of in the scriptures in uh, Philippians check this out man you can't make it up the most high set this thing up um, so perverse damn look at this per which is like thoroughly and se- severs which is severe Oh, Slakia, Slakia. <laughs> Preserve. Perverse. Perverse definition, perversion. So, this word, pervert, perverse. Literally goes into back assness. What did that say? Back assness. <laughs> so perverse, contrary to the accepted or accepted standard or practice. Check out this synonym in the bottom. Back ass words, man. Back ass words. That means it's another word for ass backwards, man. Contrary to what is usual, ex- usual, accepted, or logical. All right. This place is back ass words. It's fucking completely um, upside down. It's completely wicked and crooked. All right. And the Most High is going to straighten it out when he de- destroys this fucking place and burns all of the infidels and transgressors of the of his law in this fucking place, Babylon, and, and other parts of the world. When he when he burns them up and destroys them, man, he's going to make it straight. Like, pertaining to the scriptures that says, who can uh, make a crooked thing straight? Only the Most High can. And he's going to do it when he rings this place out like a fucking rag, man. All right. So with that, hey, and and uh, uh, just to finish it off, all these people out here, man, they're a goddamn abomination to the heavenly Father. All right. Not to mention uh, Leviticus twenty and thirteen, because we don't know what acts is going on behind closed doors for these for these weirdos. But just based off of uh, uh, face value, man, they're fucking abominable and made to be taken and destroyed. 
which is the end result of this fucking place and these and these uh, um, these wicked ass people, man. And we give the Most High all glory, praises, and honor for it, man. And request and petition that He expedite the destruction of this fucking place, man. All right. So with that, call halal all praises to Yahweh Bar Shemi Shai, Bar Shem Rakah Kadash Halawiyah Shalom.